Hello, um, my name is Mr. Taylor, and I will be doing a brief overview of some little bits projects that you can do with a base little bits kit and other kits as well that little bits produces. The first project we're going to be doing is called the prank. All right, let's watch a short video about it. Uh, the parts that you'll be using is a buzzer, a button for on and off, the power supply, uh, a wire, and it's good to point out that right here on the wire, uh, make sure those are pushed together because they do become loose over time. Um, and as I said, the buzzer. Step one, with the power supply. Step two, you're going to connect your wire to your power supply. Then for step three, connect your button, and then another wire, and then finally your buzzer. Uh, you're going to need some rubber bands to or some tape to uh, pull this little bits of prank handshake off. Uh, then pull your sleeve down and see who you can surprise. All right. Our next project is the speed control. And what you're going to be looking at is um, getting the motor to uh, spin it at different speeds using your dimmer switch. All right. um, you're going to be using the DC motor, the dimmer, and the power. Uh, what I want you to point out is that a DC motor um, can go in two different directions. Its polarity can uh, change based off of which way energy is flowing. In this case, with the little bits, uh, you have a left and right, so you can change the direction. Uh, your dimmer, which controls the flow of energy um, onto the next part of the circuit, and your power. You're going to hook your power to your dimmer in step two. And then in step three, you are going to attach your motor. Okay. Now, uh, a few suggestions here that you can make this more creative. Try adding a bar graph. Um, I've had suggestions from students that stated try switching out the dimmer switch for a light sensor. All right, and to any other sensors out there that you have and see what happens and what you can discover. Um, a challenge here, build a type of vehicle and add your speed control to a vehicle. Uh, you can build a vehicle out of arts and craft supplies, Legos, connects, um, recyclables, almost anything that you have around that you can experiment. All right. Now, our final project that we are going to review is the um, three-wheeled uh, vehicle project.
You can need your DC motor, your light sensor, your wire, and your power. Um, power, wire. Once again, I do recommend making sure these parts are pushed in. Okay. Um, the DC motor and your light sensor. You're going to connect your power and then your wire to your light sensor and then another wire which then you'll connect to your DC motor. Okay. Uh, here you're going to need some cardboard so you can cut out three wheels and um, a rectangle with a slot in it. Uh, you can use a pipe uh, cleaner to try to attach your wheels or dowel rod where Legos connects, um, um, paper clips, almost anything you can connect your wheels to your cardboard. Okay, um, There's nothing that is standard, whatever you're, you have available and your creative mind can create. And then once you make all your cardboard pieces and you assemble it, you will attach your motor um, to your front wheel and assemble the rest of your little bits on this vehicle project. And then you drive your car. Try uh, turning the light sensor from um, light to dark. See if you can drive it in the, in the dark, drive it in the light, make it stop, make it start again. Okay. okay. All right. Um, thank you for watching. Um, this short video about the review of three different little bits projects. Uh, thank you.